Hello, beautiful people on the other side of the screen. You are now tuned in to Audio Tree Live. Today is Saturday, October 7th, and I am your host, Psalm One. If you love Audio Tree and you watch these videos and you're not subscribed, you're a liar and the truth ain't in you. So make sure you subscribe right now and rectify that. Subscribe right now. And while you're at it, follow Audio Tree on Spotify, Bandcamp, or wherever you bang your music. Today we have Zulu in studio straight out of Los Angeles. The first time I was introduced to their music, I had to readjust my skull a bit. This super eclectic hardcore music reminds us how terrifying and beautiful being black is, how we are not a monolith, and how we crush every style of music ever made. American music is black music. Do your Googles. It may be October, but today is like Christmas for me. Ladies, ladies, and gentlemen, please welcome Zulu. That's right, yo. from the tribe of the moon. Oh! 
Los Angeles. song that sounded kind of like a Jill Scott song, but also kind of sounded like yeah, Jill Scott was the person that I was like, yo. So we made this song, and uh, it ended up being a fan favorite off the record, and people were very hyped to hear it. So <clears throat> this is what that song is. It's called Shine Eternally.
Yeah. This is a band called Zulu from Los Angeles, California. LA to Chicago. Last one. God, we are here with Dez, Anaya, Mickey, Satchel, and Braxton performing as Zulu. I'm going to let y'all catch your breaths, collective breaths yeah. a little bit. It's still early, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is better than coffee, espresso, all that shit. We're awake now. Um, y'all make me so fucking happy. I'm so happy that y'all are in studio today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having mm-hmm. us. Thank you for having yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. However, this is the third attempt to get exactly. y'all in the studio. What did I do? What did I do to y'all? It's, it's not you, trust. <laughs> it really wasn't. It was the powers that be. Okay. Yeah, circumstances so beyond us is honestly wild. Well, I'm I'm so happy that y'all made it here today. Like, um, time really was the charm. Uh, yeah, yeah for sure. Show, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, this is the last show of your tour uh, with Soul Glow and Playtime, correct? Yes, it is. Uh, Y'all played a night at Subterranean, and it's going to be insane. I almost feel like that venue is too small, but it's going to be super, super dope. There's two floors to it, isn't it? Yeah, there's two floors. Yeah. Okay. Somebody said capacity was 500. Maybe. 500 sounds a bit much for Sub T. Check it. We've been to a bunch of venues here in Chicago, or at least I have, and we played a few in our time. I don't think we've... You been to Sub T? No, I've been there. I was there with Scal last year. Where? Yeah. I don't know. Is it... It's, you said it's dope. It's gonna turn up. It's gonna yeah, turn yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, gonna turn up. I'm looking forward to it for sure. Yes, for sure. Um, what are y'all most looking forward to when this tour is over? Ooh. The next tour. <laughs> oh, okay. <Yeah. laughs> Going back. Uh, yeah. you know, we were just talking about that. I, yeah, I, I, I like doing like mundane like, things. Mundane things. Like, like what? Tell me. Anaya tell me. I was like, yo, I love walking to my favorite store. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, like the liquor store around the street from you know, is at my at my block, hanging out with my friends at my house, playing like Uno and stuff, watching Star Wars. Yeah, all that that's is, really. Oh, like, that is amazing. Those are the things that I love doing when I'm not on tour. But then I'll be doing that. I'll be like, I want to be on tour with. <laughs> but then I'm back, and then I'm on tour. I'm like, well, I love tour. This has been an amazing tour, but I want to go back to doing that for a little bit. You know. I love keeping the ball rolling. I'm like always constantly yeah, moving. This, this this was always wanted to go. So on I'm tour. like, like I'm like yeah. a trillion bands. Yeah. I have, like, I have like three more tours as the year goes on. So you have three more tours this year. Yeah, with the other bands. Wow. Stuff, yeah. How many bands are between y'all? <laughs> but to me, probably a thousand. Yeah, you can't even really. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's like. 
We could be we'd be here all day. I love walking my dogs. Okay. Yeah, it's lit. I love my dogs. Yeah, dog walking. Uh, we have a resident, couple resident dogs here at I, Audio I Tree. Little, and they, we saw yeah, a little chirping. Dogs. Yeah, they're amazing. They make yeah, everything dogs. better. Yeah, I, try, I, I try to get Satchel to hang out with me when we're back home. But he's busy all the time. He lives down the street from me, so. Too busy to come up the street to see your friend. No, Satch is always out. He's always He's, out. he's always something. doing, he's, he's truly always doing, he's, he's up to some, some stuff, so he's always busy. He's a busy. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> mischievous. Like that. No, but in a good way. No, he, you know, he, he'd be busy doing music. You know, he's got his life too, but I'll be like, let's hang out. And then I'm like, wait, we're on tour all the time. So I can't yeah. He's <laughs> like, I saw I really you. Can't I wait saw to you. be in my own bed, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, your yeah. bed? Yes. Yes. That's Yo, there's this uh, at home in uh, in Inglewood on uh, my block, Florence. There's this um, diner cafe called Tao's, and uh, I've been going there since I was like six or seven or something crazy. I love waking up like hella late, like twelve or twelve thirty, just walking up the street to Tao's, eating, sipping coffee, checking emails and texts, and then like being so full and walking out, and then just like hobbling down the street back to the crib it's like a good little ritual that i can't wait to get back to yeah, yeah. that diner walk is yeah. uh it can be very therapeutic what's your uh what's your diner order other than the coffee uh they got this thing called a two by two <laughs> that i used to really smack with it's like two sausage two eggs two pancakes for like eight dollars it's lit yeah that sounds good um Y'all are all moving, shaking, doing a lot of touring. How do you prioritize rest and recovery during such intense shows on the road? When you're still on the road, you're like, the Des is, is like, rest? What's that? Lately, well, I've been practicing doing it because I really don't. Lately, I've had to. I've really had yeah. to. Braxton yeah. gotten, has gotten more rest on this tour than I think he ever has. In my life. <laughs> you just make yourself go to sleep? Yeah, I have to. I literally have to. Yeah. Just KO'd in the van. It's yeah. I went really hard this tour. I had like a strict diet. Uh, I went to the gym between like sound checking, oh. doors, and I took jogs. Yeah, I was. I don't know. And then I just like chilled. That's yeah. very adult and mature. I'm trying to be the discipline because I like really would like to do this. For decades to come, so I think we have to take care of ourselves, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. So. I, I think just getting naturally tired has helped. Yeah, tuckering just, yourselves just, out. Yeah, literally, yeah. just, you know, uh, it's... And then, you know, I've, I've toured for so long. It's just at this point, I'm kind of used to it. But, you know, as the years start going by, you know, like Des is saying, you know, you got to take care of yourself. So I'm trying to... <clears throat> I haven't done the best at it on this tour as uh, I should have. But it's fine. We we got through it, you know. Yeah, and you can always take that for the next row and yeah. just yeah. you know. I think we've done some enjoyable things we like though, like me, Satchel, and Brax kind of binge Southside, like a okay. cool, funny oh, TV yeah. show. Yeah, that's a great show. Satchel was like, "Yo, we gotta watch this," and then we did watch some Top Boy. You know, it was ah, cool. Like, we just relax. It? Yeah, Satch put me food. on. Satch and Des put me on. Yeah. Yeah. What uh, what other show? Any other shows that y'all like binging? I've been watching the Ahsoka show. Okay. It's been like aired like new episodes the entire time we've been on tour. Oh, that's a so treat. It obviously it's like you know, it's fun. It was it's fun getting to look forward to that. But then I realized because it was every Tuesday, I was like, oh snap, it's already the next Tuesday. We've been yeah. on, we're still touring. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's like don't judge, but I feel like I just watched South Park. Honestly, like and Family Guy. <laughs> no, no judgment. Just no brain ju rot. Like <laughs> yeah, just turn my brain off and watch like the stupidest stuff possible. You gotta do that. I think I'm the only like anime fan in the band, so I've been I've been like letting the Jujutsu Kaisen episodes stack up. Anybody Shibuya Shibuya incident arc? That's that's what time it's been on for me. me but yeah, no, I know. <laughs> but the anime <laughs> watchers out there, like the anime yeah. watchers, yeah, anime watchers are, are on you right now for sure. That's good. Uh. Um, so I don't want to speak of black pain. So what is the most joyful? thing y'all did this week that was not on stage this this audio straight shoot. up i'd say look at y'all you buttering me up now this is <laughs> one of those things but like this whole tour has been just that it's yeah. it's been getting to spend time with the members of playtime and soul glow 
Like the yeah. entire, like yes. everything about that has Absolutely. just been joyful. So y'all have been able to just commiserate and hang out with They're the other people. acts on the tour? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, yeah, we, we, Amazing. we, go, as, we go as one. Yeah, yeah. that's dope because it's, you know. it's not always like that when you go on tour. Sometimes you can go on tour with a, somebody and never really like hang out with them. So it's nice that y'all do that, that. You know, and that, that does happen a lot. And But this is different. This is like if we're speaking about black joy. Yeah. Purely, you know, we've yeah. a month of that has been... It's one of my favorite tours we've ever done, and that's, you know, a big reason why. Yeah, we Ooh. have uh, it's us, Soul Glow, Playtime, Bree from Buggin is rolling with us. Okay, cool. We have Catherine from Third Face. Like it's been, it's it's, yeah. it's black it's, up in that piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a real, real <laughs> shout out Teddy. Uh, shout out Teddy. Teddy. No, we got shout out Teddy. Teddy, yeah, we got sure. Teddy, Teddy with, with us. us. Yeah, it's been real, real gang stuff, you know. Yeah, and meeting people along the way. Yeah. Uh, at the shows, uh, black individuals coming out. It's been wild to see the attendance. And this is what I think all of us collectively have been wanting to see for, well, ever. Yeah, you know? I, was, I was gonna, <laughs> yeah, I, mean? I was gonna say like, um, <clears throat> a lot of people don't understand the roots of just rock music in this country. And sometimes it feels very white and cis. So you're kind of like pushing that integration. And as black people do, more like people discover your music i believe it'll be even more people at the shows yeah yeah, yeah. and i uh, actually that towel i'm gonna take it back maybe you sign it sure. you know what <laughs> i mean like keep it for ebay for the dark times every now and then you know what i'm saying don't do it <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah um yeah it's it's cool uh there's a lot of younger folk that maybe aren't hip to the history yeah of you could say american music yeah, and slowly but surely they're they're getting hip to it. You I know? think one of the things we've been pushing a lot is that, like, yeah, occupy the space. Don't feel like you're unwelcomed. Like, even if you do feel that way, push through. But also, it doesn't just have to be heavy music. Like, go make any of the type of music you want to make. You know, go do some math rock or whatever it is. Yeah. You know, it's just like just if you feel like doing it, do it, and don't wait. And also, like, don't look up to us, you know? Like, we're here with you. We're your peers, yeah. you know? People tend to do that. So there was People an older black security guard in, I think, Canada. Yeah, that pulled me in aside. Toronto, yeah. And uh, Des was there. He looked at me. He said, you know what? You guys are really challenging what I thought. And he was like, he looked about 50 years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And being, like, assuming what he's seen in his lifetime. And he said seeing us really resonated with him. And that was something that was just, that meant a lot to me because he was visibly older. So yeah, it's it's been younger, older people on this tour, not you know, that have been. It's been affecting one you know one way or another. Cross generations, yeah. cross generations. And and that's, yeah, that's that shoot, that, yeah. that is a testament to how you know powerful the music is, and it's crazy because. Actually, last night I went to the opera with my mother, oh, and it word. was uh, a black woman singing. That's all right. the songs, Audra McDonald. Yeah. So seeing like That's a right. black opera singer last night and then coming to this black as fuck hardcore band today, it's yeah. just like, it gives me such uh, joy. So uh, um, a lot of your song titles, though, uh, harken back to hip hop. And if you're a hip hop fan of a certain age like myself, it flows all through the music and even the song titles. Um, they darn sure do. I love that. And, <laughs> and also, darn, I got to give you they kudos. They darn sure do. <laughs> On the um, scenario mm. callback, uh, on, well, one of your music videos, oh, yeah. and um, oh, <laughs> yeah. so so dope. Rest in peace, Five Dog Forever. Yeah, we we added that to the end of the video too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. Yeah, yeah no idea. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. I saw that. <laughs> a lot. Of, um, what rappers are floating your boats these days? Wow, that's a that's a jam packed question. No Drake. Yo, uh, we we bumped the whole Drake. We, <laughs> in we did like a, a twenty four hour Drake yeah. marathon. That, that boy got a lot of music. It's yeah, like, and I've been a Drake fan since like too long. Like comeback season so far gone. Like, yeah, that's my that's my that's yeah. my favorite Drake. Yeah, like just him uh, basically being uh, what's the group Ninth Wonder was in. Basically, little brother. Yeah, he basically his oh. little brother flow. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's Fonte's son. Yeah, Fonte. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, shout yeah, out to yeah. Fonte. But um, I mean, we listen to Drake. We listen to. What I was we, we I was bumping the new Arm and Hammer. Yeah, okay. Arm and a couple Hammer. times. Shout out Billy Woods and Elucid. Yeah, that whole backwoods hip hop oh, yeah. collective backwoods is amazing. Is crazy. Yeah. 
Me, I love Thugger. Free, free Jeffrey. I love yeah. Young Thug. Free Jeffrey. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, Young Thug, Lil Baby, Cardi, just like stuff like that. <clears throat> That's I listen like, to like the new Reaper Mook back home. That's oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Oh, yeah. I listen to Shout out Mook for real. Shout out Mook. I listen to, um, man, who was I really? I was bumping a lot of Baby Mother this week. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Love really? Baby Mother. Yeah. I lifted waist to the new Doja Cat, which is like kind of many, but I was just like, yeah. Like, <laughs> Doja goes hard in yeah, the gym, yeah. actually. <laughs> that new album is pretty amazing. Yeah. She's yeah. rapping her ass off on that. Mm-hmm. Love I'll be on the old school tip, so I don't even, everyone just named current sound. Like, <laughs> yeah. so like, it's like the old stuff. So like, what's floating the boats these days? You know, I'm still like, yeah. I do a lot of diggable planets. Yeah, yes. We did some Slum Village, right? But Anaya, you was bumping Rome Streets. You put on a Rome little bit, uh, yeah. I'll yeah. be messing with, I'll be messing with those ah. Griselda cats. That's it. But I think for so long I, I wasn't, and not because of anything other than just I wasn't really hip. Just sure. some years ago, and they're like, "Bro, you would love Griselda." I think, I think you probably at some point were like, you, "I'm like, <laughs> yeah." I mean, you know, you know, as a, as a collective, as a, and I'm in Griselda as a collective, yeah. all of them, you know, yeah. as a sound. As a sound, and I'm like, yeah, that's up my alley. Definitely, so I'll be, you know, the East Coast hardcore, like carrying on tradition, that boom bap, but like sh- very street yeah. sounding. Yeah, like, that's street. Have a style yeah, for so sure, like yeah. I'll be rocking with that, you know. But a lot of old school, like you know, you named Little Brother, you know, um, <clears throat> Diggle Planets, the likes of like you said, Slum Village, shoot, always bumping like Black Moon stuff, like stuff like that. Yeah, really, that's like uh, <clears throat> Poor Righteous Teachers. All that, that old 80s, school, consci- that old like conscious stuff. Conscious, <laughs> I, love I love it. Students of the game, not teachers' pets. You feel me? Yeah, I do. I can hear it all through it. Yeah, um, and it's the influence in this music as well, and in the titles, you see it. You yeah, know? I see it. I and a hip hop head will, you know, like y'all yeah, they'll, they'll yeah. see. <laughs> um, so shine eternally. You played during this set. Mm-hmm. It's a bit like aftercare. You know, it's like all this intensity. And then it gets so smoothed out. Um, and you said you want to sound like Jill Scott. And you did that. Um, I was going to say, like, who here is, like, classically trained in their instruments in different styles? Um, or is this just, like, God-level intuitive skill and <laughs> gifts classically given to us? I would like... I'm so taught for sure. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I've been playing jazz for a long time. I went to school for it. A lot of those chops are very useful in this music, and then you got to get a bunch of other chops real fast or you're going to uh, flounder. So if that counts, yeah. It counts. Jazz all day. Satchel's the jazz guy. Yeah. I mean, I was I, I was taught cello first in, in classical school, and then I self-taught myself bass and guitar too. So. Yeah. But I guess classically, like music, like I understood music classically, but then I did it on my own by myself, like with that. So. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I and mean, then if that's the case, I did music all through school. Same, I came up playing like funk, soul, and jazz, and reggae. And but I wouldn't say classically, but I went to school at. Yeah, yeah. You know, just if school, you had any music. other people teaching you, you know. Yes, you. I guess you would say that. Yeah. I but took the two years part. of guitar in school, but I was. Uh, Mostly fueled by spite. Okay. You know? Yeah, there was a... I got made fun of for being a black kid with a guitar at school. So I said, ha, ha, ha you'll see. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. I, I went on YouTube. That's the cello. I didn't know that. Yeah. I so, went on YouTube, typed in Eddie Van Halen, Steve Ray Vaughan, Hendrix, Randy Rhodes. Just watch, watch yeah. videos. That'll yeah. do it. Those are the cats. Yeah. Pretty much it. <laughs> Um, Des, that was that reminded me what you just said. I'll, I'll never forget when I was in like second grade, I had a kid tell me I talked white in front of the whole class, Ooh. and it stuck with me. I'm in my 40s now, and I still remember that this happened in second grade. Like, I mean, um, yeah. What the fuck is talking white anyway? Um, I think that is people being used to a stereotype because what they've been shown on the display. You feel me? And. Uh, really wanting to categorize black people. You know, I got told the same thing by, by both sides yeah. a sure. lot when well, I was younger. You speak so eloquent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you like, know, you speak well, you speak good. Or people just making fun of it, and I'm like, damn, that's, like, really strange. Because I definitely was from... I wasn't allowed to speak a certain way in the in the house, you know what I'm saying? Like, And uh, if it was found out that I was also speaking a different way outside the house, it was trouble, so... Yeah, you know, So just, we got the code switching down yeah, pat. Yeah, 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 you know, the code switching... It's a thing, but, like, I'm from where I'm from, you know? But I still 
also just like words are powerful. Being able to communicate and articulate is also powerful. And uh, it's I was just talking about this yesterday. Um, a lot of times I get pulled over. And they'll start with me, and they hear me talk, and they let me go. And hmm. I think that's just like, that's another thing. That's a little weird, hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I think it's like, it causes fear when you can articulate yourself well enough, which is yeah. a little strange, but. Absolutely. But I don't know what talking white is. I know yeah. what speaking English is. But I also know what my A-A-B-E is. Yada. You know, we <laughs> Yada. <hear. laughs> that's uh, the Bay of you. Mm, yeah, very. Uh, I feel like Oakland's like my sister city. I'm from Long Beach, so. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I grew up in a very Christian household where I wasn't really able to express uh, displeasure. I was able to express happiness or content, but not really anything on the other side of that. Um, If I was mad, I really had to keep it to myself. And through hip hop, I was able to express that, but sometimes it was displaced. Can any of y'all relate to that? Like Mm -hmm. the displacement of, you know, you said spite, but the displacement of rage in the music. Yeah. And how does that show up? And, you know, I can't really relate too close to it. Okay. Because in the household I grew up, it was very intense. Let's just yeah. you know, you put it that way. Sure. I grew up, with, like, my parents were Rasta, so. Yeah. <clears throat> and they were separated. So in both separate in s- situations, it was just like, you could Im- you could imagine if, if you're bumping, like, ragamuffin dance hall and just straight up, like, <laughs> like rough stuff, like, rough, like rough neck stuff like that, it's, the energy is there like that in all scenarios. It wasn't really not to say not to bad mouth my folks, but yeah, that's just yeah. the reality that I lived in. I think that so. same situation of being like in a ultra Christian household like led me to heavy music because only thing in my house was like smooth jazz, gospel, and like shot day. Yeah, right? and that was like, <laughs> and it was like. At six thirty in the morning, you hear that shot day. You smell some pine salt. You know it's time to get up and clean. Yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was like that anger stuff. Like it was funny when I first started listening to heavier music. My mom would just be like, "What is going on with you?" And I'm like, "Yo, like read the lyrics." And like, yeah. interesting, you know. But my yeah, mom was, was like, lot. never really in the secular music. I mean, she was, but mostly like R and B and gospel. Yeah, top forty type yeah, stuff. Yeah, and then I diverted into like. The '80s big hair, classic rock, tight jeans <laughs> stuff, and it wasn't really well received at first, to be honest. But yeah, I feel like it fueled me to have a musical palette of what my dad liked or my mom liked. But my dad telling me, "Don't listen to Jewish priest, don't listen to Ozzy," definitely made me as a rebellious kid be like, "Oh, so like, what is this about? It yeah, must be of sick." You know? Oh, I had <laughs> the opposite experience. Like, my parents got me like an iPod Nano, and then I had one of those like plug it in like speaker joints and I'm probably like 13 and the first like distorted guitar music I heard was three days grace and system of a down so I'm I'm in my room bumping it and my mom comes like yo what is this like turn this up I'm like okay (laughs) then she would ask me to play it in the car taking me to school and stuff um which tripped me out but from there I just kind of like you know expanded to all the heavier Yo, with hip hop, it was really interesting for me because the way, like, the braggadocious culture is, it's really like talking yourself up and feeling big and powerful. And they use the word I a lot. Like, I do this, I am the baddest, I do. And then, so when you hear it, you hear I. And when you rap along, you rap like I am. So it's like super empowering to feel like this larger than life character and then you walk outside and kind of <clears throat> behave that way and it's black and it feels really good like rattling off lyrics about how cool you are makes you feel cool and then you're cool <laughs> you know like that's and then you write stuff like it it helped me like come into my own like identity as a writer and make stuff like that to propagate it well y'all absolutely make great music, empowering music. Thank and you. it Thank you. and it definitely makes me feel very happy to be a black person. Yeah. <laughs> so and I'm sure uh, people of other races it makes them feel good too because it's not just a black thing. This is a music thing. Of course. So I very, very much appreciate y'all for coming and I'm gonna wrap this up now. Uh and I hope y'all have a great show tonight at Sub T. Thank you for Thank having you. me. You gonna be there? You going you on pit. I'm coming. Yeah. Okay. I want to see nope, you. Nope, not in the pit. Ah, <laughs> ah, no. Get open hand stage dive. dive on the stage. <laughs> get turned. All right, yeah, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Twist my arm. 
Um, a very, very big thank you to Zulu for blessing us today. And as always, major love to everyone here at Audio Tree spreading the gospel of live music. These guys are playing subterranean tonight and are finishing a tour right now. But when they're in your neck of the woods, make sure to grab tickets to see them. Also, get into all of their music including their latest album, A New Tomorrow, because you love great music and we want to see you have it in your life. Uh, once again, likes are good, but subscribing to Audio Tree means you get these dope videos at the top of your feed when they drop. Get cool merch at audiotree.shop. And if you want the session audio, get it on Apple, Tidal, or wherever you stream your music. Finally, follow Audio Tree on social media for more fun content. I'm Psalm One, and I'm here for good music and good conversation. Till next time, stay dangerous. Peace. 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 Thank you. Yeah. All right. So you guys want to do it for real now?